Well, welcome guys, and welcome to another entry from the Vault. So today we have Final Fantasy Chronicles. Released for the PlayStation 1 in 2001, developed by Tose and published by Square. So this is a compilation of Final Fantasy IV and Chrono Trigger for the PS1. I remember I bought this game when I was younger because this was the only way I could play Chrono Trigger at the time. But a set then a friend sent me a version available through the Wii Shop saying friends don't let friends play bad ports. He was right too, the loading times are absolutely atrocious in this game. The new FMVs added are cool though, I guess. FF4 is known for introducing the Active Time Battle System, or ATP, for attacking enemies in a more real-time manner. Meanwhile, Chrono Trigger is often hailed as one of the greatest games ever made. It's a great RPG with beautiful music, and the mechanics of the game are still fun to this day. So, in Final Fantasy IV, you take on the role of Cecil Harvey, a Dark Knight of the Kingdom of Baron. He's also the captain of the infamous Red Wings, the Kingdom's elite force. One day, Cecil is ordered by his king to attack the mage village of Mysidia and steal their water crystal. After questioning his king's motives, he is stripped of his title and ends up forced to commit another tro atrocity in his name. Thus begins Cecil's path to redemption and becoming a paladin. The first time I played Final Fantasy IV was on the Game Boy Advance, so that's how I most remember Final Fantasy IV, and I did complete it. that flashing is supposed to be happening. I don't think it is. <laughs> That shadow keeps screwing up on the, on the airship as well. Sure about that? Monsters incoming. Seems like the emulation for this game may not be the best. Yeah, it's doing it here too, to the water! <sighs> I think that would really get one of my nerves after a while. Ugh. Ooh. 
you got it, dude. Dissension only leads to treason, and that I will not tolerate. I hereby relieve you of command of the Red Wings. Slay the phantom beasts that infest the Mist Valley and deliver this bomb ring to the village mist. We leave tomorrow at first light. Oh, hi Kane. You insolent cur! How dare you barge in here! If you're concerned, by all means accompany him! Wonderful. Your king's kind of a jerk there, Cecil. You just wanted to know what's going on, and you're just like... I don't have to answer to you. Dragged you into one hell of a mess. So this was the first instances of, like, advanced Final Fantasy classes showing up, I think. Like, the Dark Knights, uh, the Dragoon- This was the first instance of a Dragoon, which I thought was pretty cool. The Dragoon's one of my favorite Final Fantasy classes. Kane can be a little... wishy-washy, though, because of how he works in this game. That sprite flickering is getting on my nerves. I'm not asleep! Mind if I do. 480 kill, an ether, and a tent. Oh, they're not gonna let me take those treasures, though. This sucks! I will say, though, I think 
the ed the slight edge this game has over the original Final Fantasy IV, which was originally Final Fantasy II at the time, since uh, it was the second Final Fantasy to come out in the U.S. I think the translation uh, that was redone for this is a lot better. I think the original Final Fantasy II was like riddled with like translation errors. Of course, there's much better ways to play Final Fantasy IV now, with like the pixel remasters, the Game Boy Advance game, what have you. Those are looking really nice though. You idiots don't know anything. They're very insistent on at least getting the crystal back. Hey, there's Sid. I won't let you ride my airships. Yeah, see, the thing is... It wasn't just... It, it's not just Cecil, like, a lot of people in the kingdom are, like, worried about, like, what the king's doing. Even the other Red Wings. for bed. He covets the crystals as though he's possessed, and he'll resort to any means to get them. I won't even feel any remorse for my actions. Ready for some real combat, huh?
Dark Knight Cecil was stripped of his command as captain of the Red Wings. He and the Master Dragoon Kane head toward the Dark Valley for the Village Mist. The advent of the airship marked the real realization of Baron's dreams, but also the birth of its militarism. With its Royal Air Force Red Wings, Baron soon reigned supreme. Now, as monsters multiply and stir unrest, Baron only exploits its power to collect the world's crystals. Why? shed their light silently. So do I have any items to my name? Not really, just what I picked up at the castle. Items are actually affordable in this. I'm putting along a couple of tickets just in case. Beware of the mist. Locked. Okay, I, I get that it's locked. Oh, there's Sid. have no access to the shop, unfortunately. Dark Knight, help! I'll show you something neat. Whoa. Whoa. Uh. Uh. Amazing. That sure, that sure was neat. Hey, it's it. Hourglass? Any other goodies? No, it looks like that's it. So yeah, this is the game that started the whole ATB system. It works out pretty good. Now the question is, where is the mist? Oh, is it this way? Yeah, I think 
So we could have Kane jump to avoid damage and then deal extra damage on the way down. And Cecil also has the Darkness command, which deals damage to all on-screen enemies at the cost of some HP. I could try it real quick. Ow. Looks like they at least recover 100 HP. back. These imps are looking more like goblins to me. Oh, that's a that's a lot of imps. Not sure what the hourglass item does. I, I assume it attempts to cast stop on all enemies or something, or a single enemy. Knights of Baron. Leave now and no harm will befall you. Confident bastard, aren't you? Wow. Wow, that was fast. Turning into mist, which means we can't hurt it now. Might be able to just wave.
Oh man. That was terrible timing. Might counter? No. Okay, that's good at least. Alright, divide to the Mist Dragon. Cool, and Kane leveled up. Oh, time to deliver this bomb ring, and nothing bad will happen. Hello, uh, villagers of mist. I bring you a gift. Oh no! Something bad happened! Who could have predicted that the bomb ring is re was really full of bombs? So we just inadvertently killed her mom. Oh boy, war crimes! I refuse to continue the slaughter in the king's name. I can't kill you, so I might as well join you. I, I, I mean, it, it, this is fair. I wouldn't trust you guys either. Oh, hi, Titan. Strong little kid. Oops. But Kane's disappeared. Okay, so the girl's name is Rydia, and yes, she's a summoner. But, um, Final Fantasy IV, you, you usually don't have a set party for, like, the longest time. Party members come and go a lot. That's kind of the theme of this game. It's not really to, like, end game where you, like, have a fixed final party. And I'm not sure if in this game you have, like, access to, like, the full contingent of party members. Because I know some versions are, some versions aren't. But, and... I think some versions you're just you, you get a final party and that's it you can't switch out with the others you know because of spoiler reasons but um give me just a moment and I'll switch over to the other disc for this game for Chrono Trigger
Okay, guys. So welcome to the other half of Final Fantasy Chronicles. This so this is Chrono Trigger. So in Chrono Trigger, you control Chrono. After going to attend the Millennial Fair with his friend Luca, he ends up running into none other than the Princess of Guardia, Marl. An ac accident ends up occurring with Luca's teleport machine, and the prin princess ends up flung back in time. Chrono chases after Marl to rescue her, beginning a huge journey that takes the group through several different time periods. It also becomes a battle to save the planet itself with a from a cataclysmic being named Lavos, who's shown to bring about the end of the world if nothing is done to stop it. So let's start a new game. Uh, we'll do wait. Good morning, Chrono. So yeah, this was the first time I had actually played Chrono Trigger. After learning about its existence. Uh, my friend told me this was a terrible way to play Chrono Tr Tr Trigger. And he sent me... A gifted copy of Chrono Trigger for WiiWare to play to play there. I got through most of it, I think, but I didn't finish it. And then I eventually got the DS version of Chrono Trigger as well. Again, didn't finish it. Good morning, Chrono. Okay, so this is Chrono. Yep. Yep, these are some load times, all right. That's just for going into the menu. Yeah, you know that adventure friend of yours. You know, Bulma. Hundred gold, nice. Oh boy, it's all coming back. So that's Luca's mom. She actually can't walk very well. A 
Hello? Oh, visit our stall. Alright, so, off to the Len Square for the Millennial Fair. Melchior the Swordsmith. What do you got? Ooh, this is painful. Well, I can afford the Iron Blade, at least. Ugh, even just to get to the menu to equip something is a chore. Oh yeah, all these memories of... Uh, these terrible load times are just flooding back. Oof. You okay? You may have it back. Yeah, sure. Yes, this is Marl. Let's go, Cat. Six cans? I'd say that's impressive. <laughs> okay, I'd, I'd like to stop dancing now. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I can only boogie so much. I gotta go back this way. Uh, no.
Oh, nice. Okay, so let her buy her candy. Okay, let's get transported. How'd you pick up a cutie like her? <laughs> you mean if she reappears? That happened. Okay, well, guess I gotta go after her. Bye, possibly forever, as I go through time. Monsters. Well, time to fight. Once it loads, yeah, there we go. Oh, I do not know any text yet. Right, because I didn't go to the forest to get my first tech. That's right.
yeah, this game uses an ATV system similar to Final Fantasy's. Um, but the game, the thing that makes this thing unique is the text. Texts are, uh, depending on the type of attack, it can be like a line attack, a circle attack, and it's all based on like the enemy's positions. So if an enemy, if you want to do a line attack and an enemy's lined up, then you can da uh, do an attack through them if you have the right attack, or if uh, they're like grouped around you in like a, cir a circular area, you can do a circle tech, and then there are group techs that you can do later on as well. So it's a pretty interesting combat system. Now we got our first tech cyclone. Oh, that is painful. Hey, I got a tonic. And a power glove. I love the power glove. It's so bad. Hey there, boys. Let's fight. The window shoppers, what do you want? Well, I can't afford the other thing, so let's just buy the iron helm. Yes, we've actually been sent to the past. We were in the year 1000 AD, but now we're in 600 AD. level up.
Nice, power tab. So that permanently increases someone's strength when it's used on them. I do not see how I could have enjoyed playing this for an extended period because of these load times. Oh, thanks for the shelter. Got a crit there. Okay, Guardia Castle. <laughs> Check out that hair. Show us your stamp collection, son! Mysterious force. What do you want? Get out of my face. Uh, speaking of nutcases, I haven't seen the Queen's Guard, that frog thing. Must be if he goes to the cathedral each day. Nothing suspicious about that. Tough.
First, let me get that ether. Something's wrong. Feels like I'm being torn apart. And she's gone. Uh, oh boy. Need to better get out of here. What do you mean she's gone? She's a member of the royal family in our time. Princess Nadia. The descendant of Queen Len. Queen Len has been kidnapped. Someone was supposed to have saved her, but history has been changed. They probably called off their search when she appeared here. But if the real queen is killed... There goes the royal line, and Marl no longer exists. Don't you stick your tongue out at me. Oh, time shenanigans. Okay, so we now have Luca with us. I'll do a quick battle with her. Luca uses guns. Okay, so I think that'll be a pretty good showcase for the game, now that we had Luca in the party. So, um, Chrono Trigger is still a fantastic game, but there are definitely better ways to play this. The, the only neat thing about this version of the game is the FMV cutscenes, but you could just watch them on YouTube now. The, it, this is really just an inferior port of the game. You could get a... well, don't get it on Steam, that port's not great either. Uh, stick to the original if you can. Or the DS version, both of those are good. But, um, yeah. So, this this is overall a not very good compilation. Because you could see when I was doing Final Fantasy IV, there were glitches with, like, the sprite flick learning and stuff, and it was just really annoying. But, um, yeah, that's what these are like.